The topic is wrathful forms of the deity Manjushri. Now what we're talking about here is we're talking about forms of Manjushri that are found in Vajrayana Buddhism. We're not talking about Mahayana Buddhism where Manjushri is portrayed as a bodhisattva, as a realized student of Shakyamuni Buddha. We're not talking about that. We're, we're, we've moved on for now and we're dealing with Vajrayana Buddhism, Tantric Buddhism, where some of these in Manjushri, especially some of these uh, enlightened students from the sutra literature, from students of the Buddha, are now personified, they're now uh, made anew into meditational deities uh, in Tantric Buddhism. So they're, they're kind of like props for, uh, for Tantric theory and meditation practice in, in um, Vajrayana Buddhism. So, dealing with the uh, wrathful forms of Manjushri, we've already talked about this a little bit uh, under different headings. And similar to Avalokiteshvara, there's very few wrathful forms of Manjushri that actually bear the name Manjushri at the beginning or the end of, of another name. Um, I mean, we have a, a number of different names in Sanskrit for Manjushri. We have Manjuvajra, Manjugosha. Um, we have uh, we, Kumara can be can be found as well to represent Manjushri, but I think in Vajrayana Buddhism, really only one only one figure comes to mind, really, where we actually have a very strong connection to the name Manjushri, and that's Black Manjushri. And we've already talked about Black Manjushri in a previous uh, video. So Black Manjushri is actually not completely wrathful, he's semi-peaceful, semi-wrathful, although he does have a wrathful component in the practice. Then we have uh, the most popular ones, of course, are the uh, Yamari class and Vajra Bhairava, uh, which are wrathful forms of Manjushri. And all of these other forms, they all stand on their own. Their names uh, do not need to have uh, the term Manjushri or Manjuvajra or Manjugosha applied. Uh, they stand on their own. So probably the most famous wrathful form of, uh, of Manjushri is Vajra Bhairava with the buffalo head, and there's many different forms of Vajrabhairava, um, even a Heruka form, one-faced, two-armed, or else we have the, the, the uh, many-faced, many-armed, many-legged uh, Vajrabhairava. Then we also have Yamadharmaraja. Yamadharmaraja, we say, has three major forms, uh, but he actually has several more forms as well, as well as there being many uh, Heruka forms of Vajrabhairava, which overlap in appearance with Yamadharmaraja, which can make it very difficult to recognize in art, to recognize visually what is being represented. Um, then we have the Yamari class. Yamari class, we have Krishna, Yamari, and Rakta Yamari. And with those, we have probably three different uh, sort of subcategories of how we understand them. We, uh, for both the Rakta and Krishna, we have Rakta and Krishna coming out of the Sarma traditions of, uh, from India. Then we have the Rakta and Krishna that are based on pure vision texts, especially the Krishna Yamari coming out of the Drikung Kagyu tradition. And then we have the Rakta and Krishna Yamari that are coming out of revealed treasure traditions of the Nyingma. So we have quite a few of those. Uh, then we have Yamantaka as found in uh, the various um, compilations or the various ways that the Ten Wrathal Ones are put together depending on what Tantra uh, uh, it's coming out of, whether it's the Guya Samaja, the He Vajra Chakra Sambara, um, or what or some of the many others. Now we also have the uh, Yamari Heruka, which is uh, the Manjushri, uh, the Jampal Ku um, uh, Draktung, coming out of the eight Kage of the Nyingma. Um, so these are the main ones. These are the main wrathful forms of Manjushri, and really only one of them has, uh, has the name Manjushri, although I did forget to mention uh, Nagaraksha. Uh, Jampal Nagaraksha is um, actually a pure vision teaching, does not come out of Sarma, but it is passed on 
Um, I believe it's coming down through the Drikung, um, but it can be popular in other traditions as well. So just touching on some of the wrathful forms of Manjushri, mostly that do not have the name Manjushri included in the title. Press the like button. Um, you can always uh, subscribe. You can ask questions. You can join Horror on Patreon, where we have exclusive videos, exclusive articles, and exclusive images, and it's updated regularly.